Now we we finished configuring the analysis and we can run it. So no errors and here we can see the reports. Let's search for gap element report. Here it is. So it shows if it converts how many iterations were was needed. And here are the load cases. For the load case alls we have all all of the members in compression for the load case L O S one the members D one oh one and C one oh one and the member D one oh three C one oh three they are working as no load so it's zero as you can see the Compression has increased in the other members, right? For the load case LOS2, the same thing for different members. LOS3 for different members. Okay, that's how we expected it to work. We can also open the post view database and check the deflected shape. Let's check LOS2. Can the undeflected shape gonna use as solid and the deflect shape as dashed? We can animate. Okay. Also, we can see the results, the unit check. Uh, the maximum combined unit check for all of the cases. I'm gonna uncheck this box. So, as you can see, there are some members that are very close to its capacity. So that's it. That's what we wanted to show you. Hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.